Mr. Guitar God 365 Facebook says, do you think or have you seen relationships where the wife becomes asexual? I get that she may lose libido for him, but says she never thinks of sex. Even erotic romance where, uh, where even the erotic romance she read doesn't actually turn her on. Well, sure. Um, you know, people go through changes, dude. Um, the, the question then is, well, what the heck caused this sudden, um, it could be a lot of things. Uh, human uh, sexual desire is kind of complicated. Uh, it could be, it can be lessened via stress, anxiety. Uh, take a person who is severely depressed and we will, you know, maybe do a, a blood draw on them and run it. And it's like, oh, your hormones are all in line. Everything's fine. Physically, we're looking at you. You look good. Everything's cool. What's going on with you? I'm depressed. Oh, well, that's why your sexual desire is down. So you can see how just something as as, as simple as the uh, emotional component of it can have drastic effects on what's happening downstairs up here in your brain. And um, so that's one thing. That's one of a thousand things that it could be, dude. Perimenopause, menopause. You're familiar with this? The natural downturn of the hormonal makeup in women. For some women, not all it results in a complete shutdown of sexual desire. And to get back in the mood for that act is straight up work. And sometimes they just do not have the energy to put into the work to get into that mindset if they ever can get back into that mindset. And for those women, they can look into hormonal replacement therapy, other therapy. There may be some emotional hangups outside of depression and outside of perimenopause. There may be things such as past sexual trauma. Um, much, much of what we've seen in terms of how to best to put this sexual dysfunction or intimacy problems within a marriage. We are together. Uh, we're committed. We have kids and oh my gosh, all this stuff just can't kind of bubble to the surface as I often say. Suddenly she has libido issues. Suddenly she's questioning, maybe I'm asexual. And you're like, where the hell did this all come from? Um, for some, when we are smothered by the blanket of all that domesticity and safety and security and matrimony or whatever the hell you want to call it, it just smothers sexuality completely. It's just gone. And sure as shit, if and when you divorce and they're back on the market and they are single, a switch flips. This happens to men and women both. I have seen it. I know I'm biased as a man. I have seen it more so with women where it goes from dormant asexual to I'm sexual again. It's mother nature doing its thing. Making you, you're back on the market. You're supposed to be find a new mate, make new babies. Even if that's not on the, in the plans for you, that's just what mother nature has imprinted us with. Um, so it could just be that she is of the, uh, persuasion, if you will, uh, that once committed, that stuff just shuts down. And once she's out of the commitment, she blossoms again, if you will. Those people tend not to make very good long-term monogamous relationship partners as far as the love, romance, and sexuality is concerned, it just goes away for them. We all know those people. We've heard of those people. I talk to those people or uh, spouses of those people on a daily basis. So that happens. Um, now, does she become asexual? You know, asexuality is a word that's thrown out around a lot, and it's relatively rare, like pretty rare, like people that are genuinely asexual. Um, I think that is something that is basically a part of you, as much, just like if you're a bisexual, homosexual, heterosexual, asexual. You don't necessarily become any of those things, but some things can happen environmentally outside of your control, which can push you in some of those directions. And it could be something that's pushed her in the direction of what you call asexuality or what I often refer to as sexual dormancy. 